Hey guys, because Heroku is not free anymore, we need to transfer our backend to another hosting platform. So if we check our application, we can see that we can't communicate with our backend. Here in our old backend app on Heroku, we need to copy the environment variables. We can see our environment variables from these settings. These are the environment variables our backend uses. So we need to copy them all to the new hosting platform. We are going to use this hosting platform, Render. It is a free and very easy to deploy. You need first to register with your GitHub account. And from dashboard, you can create a new app. We are going to use web service. And if you can't see here your repositories, make sure that you are connected to your GitHub account. You would see here connect account button. And after clicking, just authorize the render to access your repositories on GitHub. Then you will be able to see your repositories. We are going to choose our project place to stay. Let's connect to that repository. And here let's give it name. And choose your region where your clients mostly. We are going to use main branch. And because our backend is subfolder in our repository, we need to add here the name of the folder. And the platform is now JS. Building command, you can leave it as yarn, it would work, but I am gonna change it here to npm install. And this is very important to start your server. Add here node index.js. This name we added here is matching the name of the folder of our backend in the repository. You can see it here in our project repo. This is the subdirectory name. So it has to be the same. Now let's add environment variables. It is from here, from advanced. Add environment variable. And let's copy them one by one. We don't need this environment variable anymore because we don't need extra package. Render is easier and better than Heroku in dealing with subfolders inside the repositories. So we are not gonna copy this. Now let's create our Node.js server. It will take a moment to install packages and build our application. Our server is ready and listening for the requests. And this is the link of our server. We need to copy it and add it to our front end. So let's go to Netlify where we are hosting our front end. This is our front end application. And let's go to site settings. We need to go to the environment variables. And here we need to change the server URL. From options, you can edit it. Here's the old link on Horoko. We need to replace this. So let's copy this link and paste it here. Save. And now let's redeploy our front end so this new update will take effect. Now our front end is redeployed and ready. Let's check our application. 
now it is working and here are our rooms Everything is working as it was before. So see you guys in our next video.